Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to, I think this is now part three of the Bowmaster bossing series. So real quick before I start off the video, I just want to go over the nodes here that I used, or at least the trios. So for the bossing nodes, you want to use final attack, hurricane, and then magic arrow. And then for the mobbing trio nodes, you want to use arrow blaster, slash speed mirage, gritty, and arrow stream. Uh, they, they weren't too bad for me to get. Uh, I know obviously it's just a little bit of rng depending on if you get those or not but for me it wasn't terrible so i mean hopefully if you do it it won't be terrible for yourself either so to start off the video we're just going to be going through a little bit of the training and you guys can kind of see how i rotate some of these maps so at 200 to i think 205 we stayed at eastern cave path 2 so to rate the mobbing on bowmaster i would say it's average it's nothing crazy it's definitely not bad though either it, it was definitely a lot worse uh before destiny update uh but i i made adele and i just enjoy the the mobbing on adele a little bit more it's more in my opinion smooth than bowmaster but you do get uh arrow platter as a summon which at later end game stages is actually really op for farming but right now it's not like one shotting anything so it's it's nothing crazy so for me i would rate the mobbing like a Maybe like a, a 6 out of 10, but that's literally only because I love the Adele mobbing, so maybe I'm being biased there, but uh, it's nothing crazy in my opinion, but it's not bad by any means. Uh, you get a lot of different skills that you can rotate when you're training that makes it a little bit better than just regular attack attacking, but overall rating, five, 6 out of 10, 6 out of 10. Um, but yeah, so far the series has been going pretty well. The training wasn't too bad. Uh, I Side note, I did not use any totems when I was training this Bowmaster. I just used the 2x coupons that you got from the uh, the little box for, I don't know what level you get it at. I think it's 200 you get the EXP box. Uh, but that's all that I used. I didn't use any like EXP accumulation, no totem. So it's just straight up raw training. Uh, just as a side note, and it wasn't that bad. Uh, so real quick here too, uh, you're seeing me get uh, hard Damien carry. I just want to like make a point to this. If you can get any kind of boss carries, whether it be hard boss carries or just normal, if you have a chance to like make a gear upgrade from them, uh, definitely get all the boss carries that you can. Uh, it's going to make your training a lot easier. Nobody likes to train a character that's foreshotting or like even some some cases five shotting mobs so get all the carries that you can uh, try to upgrade as quick as you can most likely everybody is going to be willing to carry you if you just ask nicely i wanted to test out and see how good bowmaster's bossing was in chaos zakum <laughs> honestly the bossing in this is literally insane it is literally a broken class when it comes to bossing like, and I'm not even exaggerating that. I think Bowmaster is probably one of the most underrated bossing classes in the game right now. If not the most underrated bossing class in the game. For two reasons. One, the burst on Bowmaster is, is crazy. It's actually better than... it's. I think it's 20% better than Adele's burst. So just as a comparison there. Second... Uh, it's a two minute burst class, so you don't have to wait three or four minutes like a lot of other strong classes. It's a two minute burst, you can cycle through bosses pretty quickly. Uh, you also do higher DPS obviously over time, just because the burst is only a two minute cooldown. And the third reason, the survivability on Bowmaster is insane as well. The reason why it's insane is because you get a skill where it, it spawns these two dummies uh, on the right and left side of your character and they pretty much give you invincibility when you get hit or when you're not when you get hit but when you get hit with an attack that would regularly kill you so whether it be a one shot kill attack or just like your hp is low and you would have regularly died it saves you from from dying and you get two of them and they spawn consistently i think every 30 seconds i'm not 100 percent sure it might be 60 seconds but that's the first reason why the survivability is insane on bowmaster the other reason is you literally get unlimited healing from the arrows you can switch over to two separate types of arrows on bowmaster if you didn't know one is for damage and then the other 
uh, our healing arrows. So you're pretty much getting consistent healing the entire time. So again, overall for bossing, the rating that I would give it, literally a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's a simple class in terms of how you're doing DPS. Uh, it's You don't have to you know macro a bunch of things. It's pretty simple. You pop your buffs, you hold down the button. There's a few things that you click, but for the most part, it's super simple, super easy. And like I said, I, I really do think that this is the most underrated class right now in, in GMS. Nobody's really talking about it. Most people are talking about like Fire Poison or Shadower, which are good classes, but I think comparing them to Bowmaster, <laughs> they're honestly kind of bad. Not bad, but if you were to compare it to this class, it's definitely not on the level of, of this class and where it's at right now. Uh, so like my total overall ranking for this class would be like a seven, maybe an eight out of 10, literally only because me personally, I don't like love the mobbing. If the mobbing was a little bit better, it'd be a solid nine out of 10 or even 10 out of 10. But maybe I'm just being biased because I made Adele and I just like the way that the mobbing is on that. But in terms of bossing though, if we're just talking strictly bossing, which this is a bossy mule, 10 out of 10, insane. The funding that you need for this is probably 30% less than any other character to kill bosses. Like a little comparison for you guys, I have a Demon Slayer, which like everyone says is crazy overpowered and insane damage. Uh, I think it's around the same stat, same gear in terms of like Star Force as the Bowmaster. And I think the Bowmaster had killed uh, Chaos Sockum in like four minutes quicker than the Demon Slayer. So like literally 50% faster with the same gear and Demon Slayer is considered one of the top, if not top bossing classes in the game. Just to give you guys a little comparison there. Uh, also, real quick, towards the end of the video here, uh, I do want to say thank you for like all the, the crazy support you guys have been showing. Like we just recently hit 300 subscribers. Like me and Joe have been having like a bunch of fun making these videos, and it's it's fun putting content out for you guys as well. Since I know lately there hasn't been like a ton a ton of people putting out content besides like a very small group of people. So it's been fun and. It's, it's awesome that you guys are enjoying it as well. But I think that's gonna wrap up the video here. Again, seriously appreciate all the support. Um, and to wrap it up one more time, uh, the Bowmaster, eight out of 10, seven out of 10, more so leaning towards eight out of 10 only because of the mobbing. But in terms of bossing, crazy, crazy class. If you're thinking about making a bossy mule, go do it, go do it. Uh, otherwise, that is it for the video. The rest of the video is just gonna be um, me, I think getting to 210 and then we'll wrap up the series in the next episode with me trying out all the bossing and giving my final thoughts and uh, opinions on the class. So for now, take it easy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.